Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. It is a frosty morning out here today. We have made it home from visiting with our family and uh, man, it's cold out here. I mean, it's down in the uh, 20s. And actually, I'm just getting ready to do some morning chores out here. We've been home, uh, we got home a couple of days ago. And I have some video to share with you that is uh, a little heartbreaking. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video today. I didn't want this to, I didn't want that video to be the first video that I released. But come on now, it's too early for that. It's too early for that. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> but uh, I do have some stuff to share with you all. But anyway, today I'm getting ready to do some morning chores. Come on, Nosy. This is Nosy number two over here bothering me. I'm about to get some warmer work gloves. So these gloves are great to... Uh, work in but y'all I'm gonna be honest with you they cold <laughs> so anyway I have some chores to do this morning but y'all come on but y'all it is so cold out here <laughs> and really my concern today is um our bees I don't know how they are doing I don't know if uh, if they were able to make it through the night of all of this but <laughs> yeah <laughs> is that cold <laughs> I can't find my zipper I don't know if they were able to make it but I'm going to do an inspection um, maybe sometime this afternoon if it warms up pretty good. I'm hoping that it'll get up um, maybe the 50s or something like that. If it does, I will do a hive inspection and I will take you all along with me. And it won't be a, um, a in-depth inspection. It'll just be to open it up, have a quick look and just see did y'all make it when it was 27 degrees. And we're also going to check on Maxine because, ooh, <laughs> it's cold. Problem. We did not disconnect the water hoses last night. And because there was still water inside the connection to the to the sept the um the faucet thingamajiggy, <laughs> it uh it cracked the PVC at the end and it just broke off. The lines are frozen right now, so there's no water gushing out. But once they thaw out, that water is going to be pouring out of there because the shutoff valve is under the ground. So we're going to have to get in and uh, dig it out. Ugh. This is why you can't forget these things when a freeze is coming. Hey, Jax, you look cold. Don't jump on me! <laughs> Come here. 
Say hey, bud. Say hey to everybody. It's cold out here, huh? But he still comes out with me no matter what. So I got to get everybody fed. The good thing is that the waterers are, man, they may be frozen too. I don't know. I don't know. some water from inside because everything out here is frozen so yeah that's gonna make for some extra work over here we have our last batch of meat birds but we always have this one right here she's the runt of the bunch look at her they're all the same age and this is how big she is. So she's a runt. And we're thinking that we're gonna keep her name, keep her round, <laughs> and name her runt. <laughs> runt will not be a chicken dinner anytime soon. All right, girl. And she feisty too. All right, all right, all right. Bye. So all of the waterers are frozen, so I'm gonna have to get my wagon and haul all of this water out here. You can see the beehives off in the distance. You can see the hives off in the distance, but I'm gonna have to get all of that done and I know that's going to be a job hauling all of that water. And then we're gonna have to make a run to the hardware store shut off the water after I water them and then make a run to the hardware store so we can dig that up and repair that line because that's how we fill our waters and they have a 55 gallon drum here full of water but that's not helping them if it's frozen <laughs> so I'm gonna get some water and just bring it out so they can have some water this morning and then hopefully by afternoon sometimes that water were waterer will be thawed out i'm going to show you the video of the run that we did for our chickens we just completed their uh chicken run man it is so cold out here <laughs> but we just completed their chicken run and I will uh, show you all that too in another, in that video. So I'm going to, uh, oh, and as you can see, we got them in the garden, right? We have them in the garden area and uh, they have done a fantastic job. Look at there. They have complete access to the garden and they have done a fantastic job of going in scratching and eating bugs and pooping and all of that you know so when we go in and get ready to plant in the garden this area here is going to be in great condition so we put them over here for a reason we didn't put them in the chicken tractor we gave them access to this side of the barn so that's where they go in to sleep at night but they can come in and out as they please. It's safe in here. I don't have to worry about any predators getting in there, but they come and go as they please. And they have full access to the entire garden.
and they're doing a great job at it. So, anyway, you all, I just wanted to say good morning. <laughs> We're back on the homestead. Hey, bud, I know you cold. He's freezing down there. I just wanted to say good morning and um, wow. Let everybody know that we're back and we've been busy since we got back here. Our feet have not stopped. I feel like Barney Rubble <laughs> in that car of his when his feet are all, you know. So that's how our feet have been since we got back to the homestead. We have literally hit the ground running and uh, yeah, we got all our rest at mama's <laughs> when we were at mom's so we got our rest there and boy did we rest too i mean we was like so chilled <laughs> but um i don't know the rest at mama's house is different from the rest at our house at mama's house you don't have to do nothing because she just does it all <laughs> you know so you can just chill at mom's and that's what we did y'all we rested so good so but anyway in a yeah. previous video a while ago, well, a while ago whoop, the reason for this this video is how we have used this flock of birds it's a lot of chickens over here how we have used them to clean up our garden our garden had so many uh, squash bugs, all kinds, just so many in this area here that we decided, and literally, literally, you could just walk over here and just dig up the soil with your hand and you might grab a couple, right? So we put the meat birds over here. We put them in the barn and they can come in and out in this garden area as they please which is what they have been doing and so far it has worked out so good and granted the frost is helping now to take away a lot of the grass but before the frost these birds were just look at it they were just eating it down right they were eating it down and what we do is we feed our meat birds in five gallon feeders but <laughs> Because they're so greedy, it's so easy to manipulate them into doing exactly what you want them to do and where you want them to do it at. And I'll show you, because there are particular beds that we really wanted them to pay close attention to. And so all I would do is grab my bucket, grab a little feed, give it a little shake. They all come a running, and then I just sprinkle it where I want them to eat at. Not in their feeders, but let me show you. I can sprinkle that feed down a row, and they would be on that row forever as long as I'm not in here with a bucket of feed. They would be on that roll forever. <laughs> Trying to scratch and eat, right? And so doing it that way, they have done a fantastic job of scratching, pooping, cleaning up my garden rows. So when I come back in, all I'm going to do is hit it with some compost over the top and uh, maybe kind of like uh, work that into the top six inches or so of the soil and then come back and cover it with our ground cover and kill all of the grass and the weeds. So once we process them here in the next week or so, we will be coming in and getting this area ready for the spring. So, so far our plan to not use the chicken tractor for them has been successful. Plus, plus we don't have to worry about so much heat on them. Yes, it's cooler now, but we don't have to worry about so much heat 
on them during those extreme hot, hot months. And we don't have to worry about tending to them when it's just extremely hot. This is November. Yeah. <laughs> so in September, we get our meat birds and that starts the cooler season. And we just, we order all of them. We order all of them <laughs> um, about, let me see. We order them about two weeks apart, I think. So we order half and then we order another half two weeks apart. But they're all over here together. They're all over here together. And it's easy to see like which birds are older because they're bigger. It's easy to see. You know, so that's working for us and we don't need the chicken tractor. We let them out over here in the garden after the garden has season has ended for this particular garden. It is so much over here. It is tomatoes over here, just squash that was too big or, or not good enough. To, it's so much over here for them to eat along with the grass. So this has really been like awesome. But I'm going to do another video and show you the downside. Uh, so I'm going to show you why that wasn't so good. And we'll just come up with a solution for that for next season's batch of meat birds. So, but in, in any case, it has worked out. The beehives are over here. I'm going to do another video on that too. But they've done a good job so far of cleaning it all up. we got a lot of grass, but they've done a great job. Let me show y'all this. So look at this. We fed them because we wanted to clean this up. So we fed them. We would do the same thing that we did in those rows, sprinkling the feed. We did it right down this row right here. And look at this. They have scratched up all of this grass. They have taken it all out. And I'm gonna show you the difference because it stops. Where we stop feeding them, you could see where there's grass. You could see. Look at there. Look at there. <laughs> but, and you can tell the garden beds that we did not feed them in. Look. See that? Look at all that grass. Look at all that grass. We didn't put food down in these beds, right? But the beds that we did put food down in for them to eat. Just look. Oh, it's my shadow. Sorry. Let me turn the other way. But just look at these rows. Just look at how they've cleaned these rows up. Look at there. Very little grass at all. Nothing. But then again, where we stopped putting the grain or the food down for them, you could see there's grass. So it actually worked out. How did that get in here? It actually worked out pretty good. Look at how clean these rows are right here. Just look at there. Versus the rows that are off in the distance over there full of grass. So now for the next couple of weeks, we're not gonna feed them on this side for the next few weeks we're going to take their feed all the way over there and we're going to allow them to clean all of that up i mean they're already over there <laughs> but we're going to feed them over there and allow them to get all of that cleaned up for us as well but they've done a good job so they're, they've made this work right here just look they've made this easy just made it so easy for us Look at how big he is. Yeah. So this is batch one. Look at his size. That's batch two. There's a clear distinction. <laughs> so that plan, that little experiment that we did, putting the meat birds over here in the garden, has been wonderful. Not to mention they have been pooping over here and just adding so much nitrogen uh, to the garden area that, like I said, we won't have to do much in the spring. Just add a little compost to the top and work it in. And then whatever fertilizers we use, which is always the same for us, you know, for our garden, we, we haven't really changed from what we've done. So yeah. That's it.
So I would say this has been wonderful. This has been successful for us. Yes, it has. We even got a bird over there asleep by the beehive. Just chilling. <laughs> they don't bother the bees. The bees don't bother them. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to do a quick check on the beehives in the very next video, y'all. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to show you, I, you know, after I uh, got my chores done, I wanted to show you all how wonderful this little experiment was of putting the meat birds in this barn, giving them full access to the garden area. The last, now they were even over here when our Thai chili peppers were still in full swing, okay? They didn't bother them peppers. <laughs> That's the one thing I wasn't worried about them touching was those peppers. So the peppers were still in full bloom doing their thing with chickens everywhere. So I would say that that worked out. Chickens in the garden. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. If you haven't done so already, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload. Thanks again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see you in the very next video. Mm -hmm.